welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick elf haul. Over Labor Day weekend, their website was 50% off, I believe. It was almost all items. I hate it when Elf does a sale because there's always a freaking catch, which is super annoying. But I managed to get pretty much everything I wanted for half off. So without further ado, let's check out some of my Elf goodies. Now the first thing I got was the Matte for Matte palette. This is the palette number three and this is in the shade range holy smokes now I don't really know why I got this palette because I'm really not into cool tones but I just felt the need to do it because I was like oh my gosh it's elf and these like sell out and then they take forever to restock them so I was like okay well I better get it because if I don't get it I'm gonna regret it and then I'm gonna want it because everyone's gonna give it really good reviews these are my first world problems guys. I'd be curious in the comments section if you guys have tried these Mad for Matte palettes. I have the Mad for Matte 2 palette and I was totally going to review it for you guys but of course that has long since been put on the back burner so anyway this is what these palettes look like. They're super compact and this is a $10 palette guys. Keep that in mind. So here are the shades. Let's swatch. I just want to swatch like the browns. So not bad, definitely different. These definitely aren't like my kind of colors. They swatch pretty well. Dark blue on the bottom was a little bit patchy, but for the most part, really pretty. And it does have a little mirror as well. So for $10, I think you can hardly complain. But yeah, I will test that out for you guys. Let me know in the comments. If you would like me to do like a get ready with me or a review or what type of video you would like to see with these e.l.f. products. Next, I actually got a bunch of eyeshadow because you guys know I'm an eyeshadow junkie. Ooh, I was really excited for this too. This was out of stock forever and I'm so glad it was in stock when they had the sale. This is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm and this looked really cool. So basically it looks like a stick foundation except it's a hydrating like moisturizer. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And this is the packaging. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. Ooh, it's it's so cooling. I'm so excited to play with this on my face. So how nice is that if you're a lazy bum like me when it comes to moisturizing? I think you're going to really like this. It says, the clear cooling balm helps hydrate and prep skin for makeup application, enriched with purified water, shea, and vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize. Directions apply on face in a circular motion prior to makeup application. Blend in if necessary. Follow with your favorite e.l.f. foundation. So this is really cute. I know e.l.f. has added a whole bunch of new skincare on their website so it is really really fun. This I picked up this shading brush because I think it was really cheap. Yep it's a little like a travel size shading brush so I will make good use of that. This is the best friend eye duo in bestie brown. I was really curious for these. It definitely looked a lot lighter on the website. I thought I got like a champagne color, but this is like very, very dark brown. And <laughs> there is what it looks like. I just thought these were so cute because what a great thing to just throw in your makeup bag. Just two colors. And they're just pretty neutral shades. Here are the two swatches. So one is like a shimmery bronze and one is like a matte chocolate brown shade right there. Okay, next thing I got from e.l.f. is their hydrating gel mist. This is new as well. It says no parabens, no sulfates. This gel to liquid mist locks in moisture and preps the skin for makeup application. The texture transforms from a gel to a mist for a refreshing feel that plumps and hydrates skin, enriched with antioxidants to nourish the skin. Apply to clean skin or apply after moisturizer used throughout the day for a refreshing mist or hydration. Avoid spraying into eyes. So this is cool. It literally has the texture of gel. I wonder if it'll work on my... Well, it's definitely refreshing. It's pretty... It sprays like the ColourPop sprays. It's like a hose. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. It'll be interesting. I think I'm going to definitely use it as a priming spray and not as like a setting spray or like after I use makeup. So this is one that I was really excited. This was a pickup on the recommendation of Liv Loves Her Makeup. This is a water essence, I believe. Hydrating water essence. And it says a lightweight water-based lotion that hydrates your healthy glowing looking skin. 
This light, watery formula glides into skin to hydrate, leaving the skin feeling refreshed and smooth. Infused with purified water, coconut water, and algae. Use morning and evening. So this is what it looks like. This bottle is huge. It looks so expensive, and I think I got this for five bucks. Next, I picked up these two eyeshadow cushion eyeshadow palettes. And I've been eyeing these forever, and I finally got my hands on them. There's two different palettes. This one is the Cool palette. So let's try it out first because I feel like this is the one I'm going to like the least. But I was just so curious that I had to get them both because God knows I can't decide. And they were half off. Oh my God, these colors are actually really pretty. Do you guys see that? They're full of shimmer. Oh my God, this one is like MAC Blue Brown Pigment. Pretty. Yeah, these definitely feel like ColourPop for sure. I would want to use my finger. I wouldn't try and use a brush with these. But here are what the shades look like. Look at that light blue. Very pretty. And I got these for six bucks. So can't complain at all. Island Breeze. So here's what that one looks like. Ooh, very, very pretty. Let's give them a swatch. Ooh, that chartreuse color though. These feel so strange. Some of them are completely like no pigment and then some are like really popping. Like, look at that green and red. They were so popping. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see some kind of eyeshadow look with these shadows because I would love to throw something together for you guys. Oh, I have more. Okay, so this is an eye blending brush. I really don't remember buying these brushes. Like, I don't know where they came from. Like, where did they come from? And they're like travel size. So, oh, this was cool. I was really curious about this. This is a facial massager. And I was like, why the heck not? People always use those like jade ones. And I was like, yeah. I should probably not have done that with makeup on, but... Okay, so this is massage the skin to help reveal tension and help rejuvenate for glowing looking skin. Helps absorb moisturizer. Perfect for using on the face and body. So that'll be super cool. I'll have to keep you guys posted on that. And then I got two more eyeshadows and we are done. So these are the Sculpting Silk Eyeshadows and... I don't know why I was feeling excessive that I felt the need to try out all the e.l.f. eyeshadows, but they've been coming out with a new product every day in September, which is insane. And I just thought these were really pretty and that I could throw them in my kit too. So these are powdery. I will never use these. I can already freaking tell you that I will never use those colors. It's so boring to me. So that was a fail. Oh man, good thing I got... 50% off of these, huh? Here's what this one looks like. A little less boring, but ooh, that brown color is super pretty. Might be a really pretty, like, it's like a brown color with like a little bit of burgundy in it. Whew, that one swatch really pretty. The rest of them are pretty dull, but oh well. There they are. So just wanted to show you guys everything I got from e.l.f. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to show you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.